everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with a stock swoosh and I'm here today doing a student interview with Trader Lexi. Welcome Trader Lexi. Thank you. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So I thought we would take a few minutes today and ask you some questions as a student. I forget, when did you do the Golden Gap course? June of 2016. Oh wow, it was a year ago then. Yep. Wow. So, it was towards the, end of the, towards the end of the month, so 11, 11 and a half. Okay, good. So I remember when you first started, you never traded the market before in your life, correct? <laughs> nope, I just handed my money over to a mutual fund advisor. <laughs> and were you, were you scared when you first started trading yourself or what? Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, what got you over the hump then to finally do it? Um, just practice it with the demo mm -hmm. program and then just taking small shares in the beginning to just take that comfortable with us, you know, like learning a new trait. You do it and do it and do it until you get comfortable. Yeah. So how long were you in the demo till you went live? Um, not long because the demo expired on me pretty early. I don't know if you remember that whole, I do. That whole shenanigan. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, only a couple days, and then I just played around on my own and watched a lot of video tutorials on my platform of, mm -hmm. you know, how do you get in a stock, how do you get out, that kind of thing. Right. Now, are you working full-time? Are you training full-time? What, what do you do? I trade part-time and I work part-time. I teach algebra in the evenings at a local community college. Oh, that's good. Okay, so then that works out to trade in the morning. Yes. Now, I know you're doing the options plus a day trading. When did you start doing the options? I think I signed up for your option newsletter in September, somewhere around there. I don't know the exact month and days, but somewhere around there. So September I started doing it. Okay. Now, think, go ahead. I think Facebook was one of the first options you called that I got into. Okay. Do you find that you're having more success with the options, with the day trades? Which ones do you prefer? Um, it's 50-50, I guess. Some okay. days I do good in options, and then the next day I might not do so well. And same with day trading. I'll have good days with day trading, and then I'll have, you know, a bad one here and there. Okay. Overall, are you making money? Yes. Mm-hmm. So, are, are, have you decided to increase your risk, or are you going to just keep it the same since you've been doing it for a year? Um, I'm still going to keep a smaller risk. I just get too nervous when I see, like, negative <laughs> $500 on my screen. Uh -huh. So, um, I'm going to keep my risk small until I, you know, I'll slowly build it up. Okay. And just get confident in that first. Okay. Now, what was the most recent trade that you did that you can remember that was good, that was a positive trade? You had mentioned to me the Google. I have the Google chart up here. What did you do in this one? Was this a recent option or the last one, the one that was a really big one? Did you do the one that ran up 30 points? Yes, I, I took the Google option, um, the last one you called, mm -hmm. I think at the end of May. As and as soon as, yeah. as soon as it hit the strike, the nine hundred eighty-five dollars strike price, I got out, but it ran it ran even higher. Yeah. Yes, I see that here. How much did you make in that one? I made four hundred five dollars. Okay. What did you risk in that? Two ninety five. Okay. So pretty much, are you getting out as soon as you flip it 100% or what is your money management here for this? Um, yes, that is normally my money management rule is to flip it when I get 100% and or when it hits the target, the strike price. Okay, very good. Now there was one I had called earlier. That was the one back that ran 30 points through the number. Did I think you got out of that one early, didn't you? Yes, I think I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once I made like two hundred dollars, I was out of it. Yeah, if you had held it, do you know how much you would have made? Uh, a couple grand. <laughs> two, two grand. <laughs> so I mean, have you thought about that? 
Have you thought about taking half out? Or are you just taking two small, small size? You don't want to take the half out? Or what do you... Well, I think one contract was $295. And my rule right now is I won't spend more than $400. Okay. So yeah. I, I didn't want to buy the two. That makes sense. That makes sense. Now, what about IBM? This is the one that it started to go today. It looks good. I know you've been mm -hmm. asking me about this a lot in the last you know, week and a half or so. Tell me some of your thought processes here and how doing the Golden Gap class has held, helped you stay in this. Because I know you were down in this, and now yes. today you're up in this. Did you see what you were up in this into the close today? Um, I'm not up that much. Only probably like 20 bucks. So okay. There's $360 in it. But um, like I told you this morning, I saw those... Uh, three green days back in the middle of May, and then the two days after that, it mm -hmm. really dropped hard. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking today would be a green day, and then tomorrow would be probably hard, and the next day possibly even more. So um, I was going to see how the next two days went, and then make my decision on if it didn't go down to 150, then I was going to make a decision on when I was going to get out. Okay, very good. That makes sense. So, do you remember what was the last good day trade that you did? Was it on your own? Was it in the room? Um, no, I don't remember that because it's been a while. Because I didn't do anything this week, and you're on vacation for Memorial Day. Yeah. Memorial Day. Will you trade? Cause... Will you day trade on your own without me or not? Um. Yeah, I've. I've done a couple day trades without you. Um, earlier in the month, I made a little bit on uh, JWN. Okay. That's a, that's a retail store. I forget which one. JWN. Let me just go look at that one. Did you go long or short? Um, I think I went long. Okay. So do you prefer to short or go long when you're day trading? Um, probably prefer to short because... That's what you taught me to do, and that's I know more about shorting than I do going long. Right. Yeah, I see this JWN was back here on the 12th. Yeah, it ran. Yes, that's what I did on the 12th. Yeah, there it is. I see it. So overall, do you think you could give any tips to people that are, you know, thinking about doing the class or new to day trading or options or... I mean, what's your overall general analysis since you've been with me for a year here? What do you think? Oh, I, I love day trading. I love looking at stocks. Um, tips, I would just say start small mm -hmm. to, you, to you get confident in yourself and then, you know, build as build up as you go on to you get more confident. Yeah. Did it take you a while to get confident in, in, in doing it or... Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. At least, say, at least six months. Till you really felt that you could do it without me. Right. Now, I worked, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I can only trade with you for Tuesday, Thursdays for those first six months, too. So, yeah. That didn't help a whole lot. So, my progress would probably be slower than other people's. Well, I think one thing was really, really great about you is that you never traded in your life before you met me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Not at all. I mean, you didn't know what a candlestick was from a moving average, so I let it on the platform. So, you know, right, exactly. I think it's. I think people are scared when they don't know anything, but I think you just get over the hump. Yeah. Yep. You just. I. I just would read stuff about my platform on YouTube, watch the different videos. Yeah. Yeah. Teach myself. Definitely. Well, thanks for taking some time. We'll check in and see how you're doing on the IBM. That looks good. It looks like it's going to break. I think it goes and breaks the 150 number, so try to stick with it. I'd love to see you make, you know, a couple thousand dollars in one of these trades. I know you, you got out of the Google, but, I mean, I know one of these is really going to go for you. And, uh, you know, I, I know you're being consistent, which is important. Um, so I'm glad you're doing really, really well. I think you're a good example of somebody that can do it not having any prior knowledge of the market. Well, thank you. And yes, I hope IBM takes off too. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good day, Trader Lexi. Thanks for talking. You're welcome. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.